So today is August uh, 2017, Wednesday, uh, and this is our first webinar. Uh, new units, connecting and troubleshooting is the first topic we want to cover because each of you um, ask that question, how can I create a new unit on VLON? What I sh should do with my device to make it connected to VLON platform? So here we go. We switch to the next slide and uh, we'd like to talk first about um, the important question that you should ask yourself before trying to connect the device. And this is the question, is your device actually integrated with our platform? And how can you find your device in the list of the integrated devices? How can you answer that question? So here is a sp uh, specific um, web page um, on our website where you'll be able to check is your device integrated or not. We will show you. We will show you later uh, how to do this. Please do not use your microphone. Uh, all questions should be asked only via chat. Thank you in advance. And we switch to the next uh, question: uh, How your device is configured? Uh, and here you should ask yourself four specific questions about device configuration. Is your device pointed to correct IP and port? We'll tell you later. We'll tell you later uh, how to find out the correct IP and port. Is your device connected via TCP or UDP channel? And how it does actually matters? Or does it matter in your case? We'll talk about this. Is your device reporting frequently? High connection interval is recommended. So not every one hour and not one per day, but it should be a high connection. Um, <clears throat> and is the correct APN is indicated in the device configuration? We'll talk about what the APN number is and why it should be indicated in your device configuration as well. Um, and of course, even after um, our um, practice task that we'll do with Rengen. Even after that, you may have some questions uh, about how you can check uh, no, number one, two, three, and four. In this case, we recommend to email to uh, hardware support at hw at gurtam.com. So now, uh, let me pass the presenter role to my colleague Rengen, uh, and uh, we'll I actually show you this uh, device page on our website and Rengen will be connecting one of our demo devices. So uh, passing this role to Rengen. Hi, uh, so here we start. So first what we will do, we will check the device if the device is uh, supported by VLON. So we go to our website GPS hardware page and we search the name by typing the manufacturer's name first. And we, we can see there are a number of devices listed down there under the name of the manufacturer. So this is a list wherein we can try and identify as to which device that we are trying to set it up. The other way is we click on this icon which is a list of images plus the, the details of each of the uh, unit under each image. You select your device out of these images that you are trying to connect. Ranjan, can you actually see your device type? Do you know what your device type is? So yes, uh, I'm trying to locate my device and I'm trying to find it in the in the list. So I'll move down. So in case I'm unable to find my device out here, there is another way to find the device and that is by writing the device name itself. So I go back to GPS hardware page 
and I'll write GL 300 VC and now you can see you can immediately find the device here so you click on the device and you can read about this device so basically uh, basically now we know ranging that your device is integrated you were able to find it on the uh, list of the devices right yes so here is my device and the the details about this device along with other details are mentioned on the website Perfect, Ranjan. So now I will ask you a couple of questions about your device configuration. And the first one, did you connect your device to the correct IP and port? And how can you check what is the correct IP and port for your device? Yes, to check that information, you can see there is the IP detail written here. And there is a port number associated for each device type. So in case of uh, this device, it is 21054. Thank you, Ranjan. And each device page will have that information about IP and port. So that's how you can find it and answer the first question. Now, the second question, Ranjan, uh, I would ask you, is your device connected via TCP or UDP? But to be honest, in this case, I do not have to worry about it because what I see is that uh, in the section which says supported in VLON, we clearly can read that both TCP communication and UDP communication are supported. So no matter how you connected the device, it will be working fine on VLON. If you see that only TCP communication is supported, you would need to make sure that uh, your device is connected via TCP. And if you see only UDP, again, check that your device connected only via UDP. All right? Yes. So uh, we will check this information. And now we will go to the platform to add the device. Okay. Um, actually, before we go to the platform range, I will ask you how often your device connects with the platform. What is the report frequency? So as of now, the device reports every minute when it's moving and it reports every one hour when it's not moving. All right, Ranjan, highly report frequency is recommended for testing only, not for working, but for testing. So if you're saying that your device is reporting every one hour if, uh, that, uh, when it's stationary, then we would need to wait a long time till your device connects with the platform. Maybe we would need to wait one hour unless you start moving with the device right Ranjan? yes so uh, let me try to move this device once i have added this device to the platform this is one option this is one option so just keeping in mind that report frequency matters and the last but not the least is apn number remember that was the number four question about configuration and this device has the SIM card. Maybe your device doesn't. So this matters only for those devices that have SIM card. And each SIM card provider has a specific APN numbers that would allow the SIM card to work perfectly with that device. Otherwise, it will not be connected. So in the configuration, you would need to indicate that APN number. Renjin, do you know the APN number of your service provider? Yes, I did call them and they provided me the APN number, which is data123. And you did indicate it in the device configuration? Yes, I did that. The information is updated on the device configuration. Okay, looks like this device that you're planning to uh, connect to the platform uh, will work perfectly. Now, let's see what you should do as a next step. We covered all those configuration questions. Now, there are just three simple steps to connect the device on the platform. First, Ranjan will show you how to open unit panel and press new button to create new unit. Second, Ranjan will show you how to name the device, indicate device type, and indicate the unique ID. And second, Ranjan will just save the settings. That's all. So, Optional, very optional, we won't cover that. It just, uh, if you want to specify the SIM card for number, 
uh, you can do that. It has nothing to do with connectivity of the device. It just would allow you later to send SMS messages and, for example, ping the, the device or change it, its um, configuration remotely via SMS. But it has nothing to do with the connectivity itself. So initially, you don't need to do it. And device access password also only if inside of the uh, configuration of the device you decide to indicate some device access password then you need to indicate the same device access uh, password in the platform if you didn't do it no worries about it Renjan did you use any device access password no I didn't uh, the device is open okay perfect so uh, Renjan could you please show us now um, how to create the device on the platform okay so here you go so you click on the units tab and you click new button so uh, you'll see this unit properties page you name the device and the device type you select the device type that is GL 300 VC and you punch in the IMEI number of the device so I will update the IMEI number here and I save the device so there you can see the new device has been created we'll go to monitoring tab and here we can see our new devices listed now let's see if the device starts reporting so we'll wait for a minute and we'll wait if the device starts sending messages okay even so you can see some old old messages we'll see here 59 minutes ago it was connected the device is not connected now so basically we are not getting new messages and there is some connectivity problem right Ranjan? yes so we are sitting inside the uh, office and i think uh, it is not getting satellite network so that's the reason it's not uh, reporting uh very good guess and i think that is uh the uh, the, the the right guess about um our trouble with the connectivity however i'd like to pay your attention that there can be multiple reasons uh, that are related to the um, um, to the device troubleshooting, uh, multiple reasons of device not being connected with the platform. So, um, Ranjan, let me ask you a couple of questions, and uh, these are also uh, the questions that um, you need to ask yourself, whoever is participating in this webinar. Please, first, again, ask yourself if your device is integrated. We talked about it, and Ranjan checked it is. So the answer is yes here. Number two question, is your device configured correctly? Again, Ranjan yes. answered that question, yes. Okay, we checked everything. Number three question, is your device installed correctly? Please check all wires and aerials. So the wires and aerials are not uh, in my kind of, no, my device which I'm trying to add here. So I think I'm lucky and uh, it should get connected. So if you have a wired unit, Please check how uh, uh, the device is installed. Um, in our case, the answer is yes, no wires, no aerials. Number four question, is your device UID number is correct? Uh, yes, I just checked uh, the UID number, which is IMEI number of my device is exactly the same that I mentioned on the website, uh, on the platform. Okay, we'll talk about this device UID checker website that we recommend you to use in order to triple check uh, if your uh, UID number is correct. That is the UID number that uh, Ranjan was indicating in the unit properties and this number is very important. By now, we just believe Ranjan and we uh, believe that yes, it is um, the correct UID number. Uh, number five question, is your device SIM card balance positive? 
is your SIM card is activated is also full here. Yes, I just uh, checked with the operator and the SIM card balance is quite positive. Perfect. And then the answer is yes. The last question we have for you, Ranjan. Is your device situated in the area of satellite availability? No, it's currently not because I'm in the office and the device is with me. Let me just go out and maybe try and press some button to, to respond him. Um, well, Regina, we don't want to lose you, so could, if not, uh, you probably can just move closer to office window. Uh, or yes, another option is to test while moving uh, outside, just move around. But uh, in our case, we're just putting the device closer to the window. And let's check. Um, so while Ranjan takes care of the device, uh, let me quickly show you uh, what is device ID checker. So device ID checker um, is located on uh, the web page id.vialon.net. Uh, and uh, this website uh, gives you the recommendations of what steps should you uh, make in order to, cor uh, to check if you type the UID number correctly. For a second, getting back to the device page, here you see which device type you should type in the unit properties. This is exactly what the engine type, so this is the correct one. Check if you type the correct one, if you have a trouble. And then here is the hint for engine. Why did he type the IMEI number, which he found on the label of the device? Why, why not some other number? Because it says IMEI right here on the device page. Your device may say serial number or something else. Okay. So, even so, Ranjan is sure that his IMEI is correct. First step, point your device to another server. Leave the port as it is, but, but use this <coughs> server to point the device. Second step, uh, when, the, when you think that your GPS tracking device is connecting, is sending the messages to this server, uh, you can uh, try to find it on this list. The best way to find it is start typing the device type or start typing the port and again device type is here and the port is there i find the port is easy so 21045 or 054 is what i will be typing and if Ranjan would point his device uh, to this server we would be able to see it here Okay, and we would be able to check what is the correct unique ID number that he typed in the unit properties. Again, reminding you, this is this unique ID number, this is an actual IMEI, everything was typed correctly, and this is what, this is the device type which was typed correctly. And here's the result of our testing, we see latest state, stationary for one minute, Position detected 1 minute 56 seconds ago. So now we know we're getting new messages from the device and our troubleshooting was successful. All these questions were here. So just six questions, right? And then a success. What if not? What if there is no success? You did a great job by following the six questions. So now you need to email Gurtam support at support at gurtam.com. Tell support the unique idea of the device, device type, and describe what you already done by answering to all questions below. So just describe what, what Ranjan was describing. Basically just answering to these questions, yes, and for some of these questions, you will give more details. Thank you so much for your attention. Uh, and um, we will review all the questions that we'll see in the chat. We will do this. Next time, I hope, um, you know, like there will be less uh, problems with connectivity. And, and by connectivity here, I mean connectivity to our Join Me um, webinar. Uh, so that all, everyone will be able to see the screen. Everyone will be able to hear us. We'll also put that information for each slide. So 